hey everyone welcome to another video on dvd playlist so this is going to be a very quick tutorial on how dvd compile and runs your query so this is a very important for part for you to understand you should understand what goes behind the scenes once dbt compile and runs your query so just a quick recap what we did in the last video we have created a source so this is to read the data from your data warehouse then we have created a model out of it if we just run this so let me just run this project what it does is it it tells you like it's created some employee details on this public schema and it's created a view let's see that in snowflake also so in dvt tutorial in public you you have a view so let's see the view definition of it it creates a view of uh, inside this particular schema and it this is your query so it might be I thinking like how does how does dbt understand that this has to create a view and this is my data and all that uh, if you have seen my introduction to dbt tutorial so i have explained that dbt has two stages one is compile one is run okay so to see like what are this compile and run you have to go to your target so this is should be on your root folder so you go to target first let's see what's the compiled version of the query that you are writing creates with the same with the project that you have and it will create understand that you have a model here so this is your model so let me just split it so that you understand what's happening so if you see that this is your uh, raw model that you have written and what you are saying is you have to read the data from here so dbt understand and it's compile your query like this it understand that i have to read the data from this this particular location from where it is getting it's able to understand that this is a source so it will go to the source information and you understand okay this is the database this is a schema and this is a table i am looking for so it knows how to compile your query but this is not the query that runs against your data warehouse for that you have to check the run you so it will create with same sql so if i just see this and if you see that it creates a view so it understands that i need to create a view so you might be thinking that why it's creating a view i need to create a table out of it but by default if you don't provide any configuration it will create a view for any model that you are creating so you might be thinking like how do i override this to override this let's go to our model so this is my model what i'm gonna do is like in dbt you have this jenga templating you can do so this has a config function where you can define how the data should be materialized so materialize is a uh, functionality in dbt that you tell your dbt that this is how you should store the data okay so currently the materialization is table so you you can have materialization defined in your dbt file here and there are different ways to create this materialization so don't worry about this we are going to see in details how to have different materialization and how you can configure this materialization so uh, we have defined this let's run this so you run the same thing and once it is done it understand that you have to materialize this as a table and if you just see here it says that create a sql table so and if you see the table run as well it creates a transient table so this is a terminology in snowflake it creates a transient table the same can be verified in snowflake created a table employee details and this is a trans so it's really important that you understand all this compile and run stage because this is a very simple dbt model but you uh, in our dbt playlist also will be writing a really complex dbt files if something goes wrong if you're not able to understand that how my query is getting executed you can find those sql files here in compile and run so it's very easy to debug in that way yeah that's it this is what i wanted to share about dbt compile and run and how this query is getting generated
so what we're gonna do is like in our next videos we'll be focusing mostly on materialization because it's a very important concept to understand NDBT and it has a lot of features that I wanted to show so stay tuned